Hi, this is Sweet June. Out doing my walk today. It's about 70 degrees, almost 70 degrees. It's a beautiful day out here. Well, a little cloudy, but uh, decided to come out for my walk. Feeling pretty good. I got a question. They, was, they had a couple on TV the other day. I think they were, the man was an athlete, I think it was. It was a married couple and the guy was an athlete. But he was talking about how uh, he was cheating on the wife. And he uh, started going into therapy because he uh, said it, he had sexual addiction. So I got to marinating, you know. I said, hmm, that's a common narrative. I noticed that that's a common narrative of a lot of men that get into these marriages and they have affairs. And the first thing they say, uh, well, uh, they have affairs with multiple women. And the first thing they say is, well, I, I got sexual addiction. So I was kind of marinating on that and I was like, huh, I said, that's interesting because if a woman was to have affairs with Mary and had affairs with multiple men, well, the first thing that would come out of her husband's mouth and probably everybody else's mouth is that you a hoe, you're just a straight up whore. So it's interesting, excuse my French, um, that if a woman, why is it when a woman, that's my question, why is it when a woman sleeps with multiple men, um, she doesn't get to use the excuse that I have sexual addiction. She's just a whore. Even if she is suffering from sexual addiction, well, Nobody's going to let her use that as an excuse. But it's interesting. I just thought it was interesting how men get to use that as an excuse. Uh, they get to stay. Men get to say, oh, I have sexual addiction. But women don't get to say that. If you are a woman and you sleep with multiple men. I mean, if in fact, my theory is. If in fact that sexual addiction is an actual problem, and it probably psychologically it probably is, think lot I mean, wouldn't it make sense that women can suffer from it too? If it's an actual disorder, then women could suffer from it as much as a man can. So why is it that the men are the only ones that can use that as an excuse? And if a woman is sleeping with multiple men, and she's a whore. She's just a whore. She, but men, they make. I just, I just. It, it was just kind of annoying to me because I remember when Halle Berry was married to Eric Benet. He said the same thing. Well, I have sexual addiction. Well, they got a divorce. And he messed around and remarried. You ain't heard nothing about him cheating on the new wife. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, he ain't, you ain't heard nothing about him cheating on the new wife. So, I, I mean, I, I wonder if that's just an excuse. And the women, so the woman can forgive him and he's into therapy. But a man, if a man has a wife that's cheating with multiple men, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna say, oh, well, she's got sexual addiction. She's getting therapy. I'm trying to be patient with her while she gets help. Yeah, right. Man, a man will never do that in a million years. First of all, his ego's gonna be crushed. Second of all, he says, she's, well, you're, well, you're a whore, and he's probably gonna divorce her. So I just, I think it's interesting how men can make that excuse. <laughs> I was marinating on that. Well, I'm about to wrap up my walk. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that. Um, is that an excuse for men to make for committing adultery? 
um, it's, it's, a, it's a double standard. Let me know. Sound off in the comment section. Like and subscribe. Got some more interesting video topics coming up. This is Sweet June.